you want your kid to spend her life behind the counter at Dunkin' Donuts? Do you? No. Because that's where she's headed. Selling chocolate donuts and glazed fritters for the next 40 years to people in business suits who actually gave a crap about their academic future. I just want her to get into a good school. She has such potential. Well, so did Charles Manson. What? Look at her. Frankly, it may already be too late. I don't particularly like to take on such meek, diffident cases. Do you even know what diffident means? That's okay. That knowledge isn't really required in the retail donut distribution industry. Please, just give her a chance. Why should I? Because she needs this. Mom! Caitlin, what do you think? She's got a C average, which means she's either lazy or stupid. I can work with either. Frankly, sometimes stupid is easier. I can scare the stupid out of you, but the lazy runs deep. So you'll take her on? I will. Wonderful. Mom! Caitlin, thank you, Paris. You won't be sorry. Okay, now if I can get you both to take these aptitude tests, then we can get to work. Why do I need to take a test? I need to get a realistic sense of Caitlin's true potential, and genetics is by far the most reliable indicator. I'm sorry? Basically, I need to know how much of this is her fault and how much of it is yours. Tick tock. Oh. What is this? Pretty great, huh? Not for Caitlin. I was gonna spend the summer tutoring for the Princeton Review, but then I found they charge these little morons $60 an hour and only pay their tutors 20. So I figured, who needs the Princeton Review? I can open up my own shop. I've already subcontracted out to three other student tutors and I've got more prospects lined up. I'm gonna make a fortune. Hey, you interested? The pay is $15 an hour. No, thanks. Wait, are you looking to use the offices over the summer? Just because you're the editor, that doesn't entitle you to use the offices during the summer. There's no paper to put out. These were up for grabs, and I grabbed them. Paris, I don't want the offices. Oh, then what are you doing here? I just came in to back up my files. You already backed up your files. I saw you do it. Oh, I get it. Logan's gone, huh? He left this morning, early. Breakups are tough. What? Eyes on your own paper, Marilyn. We didn't break up. You didn't? No, why would you say that? I don't know. Wealthy, good-looking, hedonistic heir to a billion-dollar multinational media conglomerate moves to London and spends nights pining away for his college girlfriend? Who's watching that movie? Paris, it's not like that. We're together. So, you guys talked about it? Yes. Well, no, I mean, I'm gonna go visit him, though. We talked about that. When? I don't know exactly. So what specifically did you agree to? Well, nothing really, but it was kind of understood. Yeah because that worked out so well the last time. Paris. Has history taught you nothing? You're in limbo, sister, no man's land, quite literally. Logan is not that bright. You need to spell it out for him. He's got to know where the red lines are. He's going to leap right over them and into bed with multiple British floozies. Paris, it's OK. Logan and I are fine. He moved to London, Rory, the most romantic city in the world. Paris is the most romantic city in the world. Oh, right. London is just the most sex obsessed. Pencils down. Hi. <gasps> The prodigal daughter returns. What are you doing here? Well, I couldn't stay away. I just missed you too much. Aren't you the sweetest? Isn't she the sweetest, Michelle? Mm, beyond all human understanding. Hey, Michelle. Yes, it hurts very much. Yay, so you're back. Yeah, I just had to get out of there. Oh, how was the goodbye? Awful. There's nothing good about a goodbye. It's a very poorly named ritual. It was a bad bye, a very bad bye. And then I went into the newsroom, talked to Paris about it. You what? Well, I didn't mean to. She was just there, and she spent like 10 minutes kicking me while I was down. Oh, Paris is always there for you in the most unfortunate ways. I just miss him so much. I know you do. And it's only been seven hours. Can you imagine when it's been... You know what? I don't want to talk about it. I need coffee. Okay. You sure, though? You don't want to talk? You can always vent to me. I'm the perfect venter... riser. Venter... Raider. Mom, I don't need a venturator. I just don't want to talk about it. What's going on with you? 